We are remembering the life and legacy of Martin Luther King Jr.'s sister, Dr. Christine King Ferris. She died today at the age of 95. And the King Center says that her life overflowed with acts of faith, service, love, and education that inspired the entire world. 11 Allies' Brittany Kleinpeter has more on the impact she had on our community. King Ferris was born in the historical King family home on Auburn Avenue in 1927, the same home where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would also be born. She was known as a civil rights leader in her own right, participating in the landmark Selma Montgomery March in 1965 before establishing the King Center alongside her brother's wife, Coretta Scott King. She also walked in the footsteps of her mother and grandmother, attending Spelman College and eventually returning to teach there. She was a powerhouse. <laughs> Chantal Tuit was one of Dr. Ferris's many students from her 56-year teaching career. When that lady walked in the room, she just demanded your respect, and you knew that, and you didn't even try to do anything else. You just fell in line. It was just like as soon as she came in, it was like, okay, she's here. Let's get on point you know, show up and do everything that she expected you to do plus more. In 1986, ahead of the first federally observed MLK Day, she told Ebony Magazine she hoped the date would inspire other future leaders to, quote, join in on the struggle for freedom, peace, justice, saying that was the best way to celebrate Martin's life. King wrote a children's book about her brother's life and growing up alongside an icon. She told 11 Alive in 2005 she wanted children to know they also have the potential to become great. Today, her nephew, Martin Luther King III, said King Ferris was an icon in her own right. Always fashionable. In fact, she made a lot of her clothing her, herself. And um, she was uh, very punctual. Um, she was very direct, but she also was very loving. 95-year-old King Ferris leaves behind a son, daughter, and granddaughter and a life well lived. Brittany Kleinbeater, 11 Alive News. And we are gathering reaction from local leaders on Dr. King Ferris's death as well as her life and legacy on 11alive.com.